Hey crafty peeps, today's video is three projects that will be main staples in your home that you can decorate year round with either seasonal decor or just your everyday decor. I'm so excited to show them to you. I'd also like to thank, to thank today's sponsor, Laser Pecker. When I show you their product, it's going to blow your mind. So let's just get into the first project. Uh, this is a table leg to a table that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. So what I did is I just uh, cut that big top piece off and I turned these into two spindles. And now what I'm going to do here is just paint this little wood piece from Dollar Tree and I'm going to do my best to match it to the spindle, the table leg, whatever you want to call it. I think spindles are really for like staircases, but this is a table leg. And so at first I realized that it's just too stark white with my uh, linen chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to add just a little bit of tan here um, to try to match that aged look of the table leg. So backstory on this table, I actually uh, got a really cute farmhouse table, but I needed chairs to match and went all over the internet. And I mean, chairs were like $70 a piece and I wasn't finding chairs I liked. So I went on Facebook Marketplace, someone was selling this uh, table set. It had six chairs to it, which is what I needed. Actually, I think I only needed four chairs. So four chairs and they were selling it for $100. So here I was getting six chairs basically for $100. I didn't need the table. So uh, the girl actually had the table legs unattached and I was like, oh, you're making it easy for me. I got rid of the tabletop. It was really old, didn't need it, couldn't find a use for it. So I was like, score because each table leg had two of these spindle like things as you saw in that first picture so I'm just thinking that's eight of these spindles I'm getting out of it and then also I'm getting uh, the six chairs so a uh, super good deal okay so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, drill a hole all the way through this so I'm just finding the center point all right so back to the table because I'm so excited about this purchase so six chairs eight table leg spindles, okay, for a hundred bucks. Then we sold the two chairs that we didn't need at a garage sale for 30 bucks. So now uh, I've only spent $70 and I've gotten table chairs for my kitchen table and eight of these spiels, spiels? spindles I, was, I don't know what i'm saying okay so as you saw i drilled a hole also in the bottom of that table leg and now i'm going to just screw this all the way through uh, on that table leg and attach it to this this is the base you can see this is an easy project i highly recommend jumping on facebook marketplace i have gotten so many amazing things most of the time it's just people want to get rid of some stuff but they it's a little bit more expensive than just donating it i mean i get crazy good deals so check your local facebook marketplace I, yeah type in farmhouse um yeah all sorts of fun things okay so now you can see you can decorate this all sorts of ways it's i didn't even tell you <laughs> during the video we were making a wreath stand but now you can put this outside you could put it in front of your fireplace wherever you want and you can change out the wreath throughout the year Okay, this is the product I am so excited to share with you today. Again, Laser Pecker is sponsoring this. What is this? It is a laser engraver and cutter. Um, yes, please. So here I am just kind of unboxing it. You can see how high quality it is and how well they pack it. Um, yeah really really good it's really easy to put together i didn't put it um together on camera because i thought it was going to be difficult and it wasn't it was three steps and it was like two screws so super super easy you get your goggles here to make sure you don't laser your eyeballs don't do that <laughs> All right, so it comes with an app and you can connect it right to it, which is also really easy. And so I wanted to do something round. And so I'm actually using uh, the, the, the attachment <laughs> that comes with it and helps you with round designs, as you see here. And I'm just going to use this little wood um, 
pencil box not a box obviously pencil cup <laughs> from Dollar Tree definitely practice on some cheap items first before uh, you get started so anyhow there I kind of passed it up but in the app you can pick your image and then if you're doing something round like this you can see it's just turning it ever so slowly so that your image wraps around perfectly um, but in the app you're gonna go in there to um, and you're gonna change it to the third axis, and that's gonna give it that round um, curve. So look at how amazing this engraved. This is just an SVG I had, you know, downloaded. Again, cheap tumbler I had that was in my cupboard, and this is a logo that I tried on here. So right on to your tumbler, this is engraved. That's not coming off in the wash or anything. That is the coolest thing and you are going to love making your own custom items. Now here's just a little piece of cardboard that I ran through and I'm running it through a couple times so that it actually cuts it instead of engraving it. Now one pass it would have engraved and a couple passes it cuts it out. So that was just a quick overview of how amazing this product is. You can engrave just an endless amount of things, leather books, uh, keychains, metal. You can make necklaces. You can uh, literally engrave anything. So definitely check out some more of other, I'm going to link another one that I just thought was incredible that I watched and saw all sorts of things that you can make. I'll also have a link down in the comments on how you can purchase this item. Oh, and I forgot to mention this machine is less than a foot. It's light and it's portable. You can literally take it anywhere. You can take that bottom piece off, add the orange little cover there, and literally do it like right on a fence or something like that. I was scrolling Instagram when I saw this beautiful setup on a couple different accounts. So I looked it up and this is a shelf from Hobby Lobby. They actually flipped it upside down to use it on a counter. But even on sale, it's $72. So I am not gonna buy that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and pick up some of these wood pieces. I got seven of the long ones and five of the square ones. I'm gonna go ahead and cover them in white chalk paint, linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and this is what I got. Now if you just want to buy these rectangle ones and cut them in half you can do that and it's actually more cost effective. Um, but I went for easy. So I'm going to take uh, my wood glue here and then I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue for that quick uh, adherence. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just start gluing these together in the same shape as that um, shelf from Hobby Lobby. Like like again, they flipped it upside down, which is genius. So you don't have to put it on the wall. You can just have it on your tabletop. Um, but you could also make this as a wall uh, piece as well. Now, I did map this out. So I measured each board and then I figured out you know, what this was going to look like. Um, I did little um, measurements and everything. And so I knew this was going to work out. I'm just adding a little bit of um, masking tape just to keep it together a little bit better. Um, now, if you have a like brad nailer, that is going to make this a lot sturdier. And so I used one for the very first time on this project and it was super exciting. And I was like, now that I have one, I want to make all of the wood pro <laughs> projects. Um, it definitely makes it sturdier. So you see here, I've just made a box with the four rectangle pieces. And this is the part where you would... Um, use the brad nailer to just really make it um, sturdy. I didn't even have the brad nailer yet. I actually put this all together before I got it, uh, before it shipped to me. So um, you want to do it as you go, not like me that did it all at the end because there were some pieces that I couldn't get to. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my short pieces. Okay, so I've made my, my long rectangle um, box. Okay, and now I'm going to use these smaller pieces to make like a skinnier 
rectangle. So again, using just two of those um, square pieces and then another long piece to make another box. Now I'm going to find the center point here because I am going to make shelves right here by also gluing in the um, long pieces across. I do want to make you feel confident in making this project. You don't need power tools um, other than again if you want to make it a little bit sturdier. Um, another thing you could do at this point, I did mine at the end but you could also do this uh, now, is your back ground okay so your your back piece by gluing it down to the back piece as you go that's also going to keep it sturdier now for the back piece you can use foam board um, you see my uh, desk there that's just covered in contact paper and you see how it kind of looks cool so you would totally just take some foam poster board cover it in some contact paper and that could be your background. So that is a really inexpensive way um, to do your background um, or a really thick piece of cardboard. Um, you could use some, uh, I'm forgetting the word, but that really cheap wood, plywood, that. <laughs> For me, I had actually just redone my bathroom and it had used some um, beadboard and so I was like, this is going to work perfect because I had this left over. So I went ahead and cut it down to size. And I also cut it four inches higher because I want it to come up higher than my full thing like that. Okay, so there we are. I just, and there's my brad nailer off to the side. Um, you could also use tack nails. So if you've ever put together office furniture, like bookshelves, they have the little tack nails, you know, and you, you tack the, the back thing to it. That would be probably your best option if you don't have a power tool. But again, you could just glue this on. I would use wood glue and hot glue. So um, again, this is how easy uh, using power tools are. I was super intimidated when I first started using them, but they're fun. They're so much fun. Okay, so of course Dollar Tree Wood isn't straight, it's bowed, it's not perfect. So I put a bunch of wood filler in um, anywhere that had a gap and then um, I sanded it down. Now, of course I had painted this first and that's fine, you don't have to paint it first. I didn't really know exactly how this project was gonna go because I've never made it. So you could wait and paint it at the end. And then using some call care, I'm gonna also finish these, um, every seam um, with some caulk. So look at how well that just finishes that off. It's going to make this look so professional. Again, um, you can use like they do have caulk at Dollar Tree. Again, this is just caulk I had left over from redoing my bathroom. So grab it from Dollar Tree. And then I take an unscented baby wipe and I run it across. So what this is going to do is it's going to push the caulk down into the gap and then it's also going to wipe off any excess. So then I'm just going to turn this every which way, like I said, and everywhere where um, the wood meets each other. I am just going to put this caulk in, and it made such a difference. Do you have to do this step? No. It still works just fine. There you go. You see it without caulk. But then when you do that, it just makes a big difference. There, you see it there. And again, I'm going to go over this again with paint, so everything is going to match really well. So again, I actually think I went over this again with two coats of paint. I just was really trying to make this look as professional as possible. As you can see, the side bar boards right there aren't even painted. Okay, then I had four of these from Dollar Tree. They do have them in the stores again. I went ahead and took the book plate thing off of them. And then I covered them with just one coat of the linen chalk paint. And there you see, you can just set them on the top. Would I like them to be drawers? Sure. But I felt like that was just going to be more wood I had to use. Another piece of Dollar Tree wood I thought would just finish this off. I marked it from the top of the back to the front and I cut these little um, triangles off. And you can, the board from Dollar Tree is not that thick. You could probably cut it um, with a bunch of runs with an X-Acto knife, but I really thought that finished it off um, by putting those triangles on. So this is the finished project. 
It's not exactly the same, but look at how amazing this looks. And with the drawers not actually pulling out, you can take them off. Here I took the two middle ones off and did a bigger sign. And then here I took the drawers off completely and decorated it this way. Um, this is such an affordable uh, project. Uh, it cost me around $20 to make, much better than the 72 from Hobby Lobby on sale. This is another Facebook Marketplace find. I got a couple of these boards, really cool. I mean, they kind of look shiplapped. And so I have two of them. So I'm going to glue them together. This is some other just spare wood I had that I'm uh, just putting to the back with some wood glue and getting those nice and secure. So what I'm making here is a wall statement piece okay so this is something i can decorate year round and this barely cost me anything because again i got this stuff off facebook marketplace i also got these wood pieces that are rounded and i just cut it down to size again i have two of these and so these are going to be go at the top okay this is going to make a decorative top and i made this back in like March, I think. So that's why you see me in a sweatshirt because it is 107 here in Northern California today. Ugh. Okay, so I there were some holes here that I filled in with uh, wood filler and then I'm just going to sand it down. I don't even think you ended up seeing the holes once I put it on there, but just in case. And then just taking a paint stick, again, I'm just putting this um, on the back just to get this extra sturdy. This is, like I said, it's going to go on the wall. It's going to have a shelf and I want it to be super sturdy. So you can see my little sidekick there <laughs> running around. That is my little rat terrier, Winnie. Okay, so now I'm going to drill two holes here. I do believe it's two with my drill. <clears throat> and this is going to be where I'm going to attach the shelves. Okay, so we're working on the back here. You're seeing the back. But I'm going to make these holes um, so that it'll make it easier to screw in the shelving. And that way, again, it'll be really secure. And then and everything too, um, if I think it could just use a little extra, I also add wood glue. And so here I am, I'm holding the shelf on the other side while I screw it in. Now I'm gonna make the hangers. So I'm gonna, as you see, measure down to two inches, and then I'm gonna put these little hangers in, and that'll be how I hang this up on the wall. You can see I use a few more anchors there on the back to keep it nice and sturdy. Once I have all of this together, I'm going to go over it with white Rust-Oleum paint. As you see here, painting it, that, I mean, look at this. This project is so easy to make. I promise you can make this. Using some gray, I just kind of white washed it over, not whitewash, because right, gray wash. So you can see the difference between the right and the left. I picked up these push pin hangers uh, from the hardware store, literally push them in. Uh, if you need, you can kind of, you know, push something else in there to make a little bit of a hole. And I'm going to make a couple of these across the bottom. And what this is going to do for me, this is going to make it, well, obviously I can hang things from it, but I can also hang garlands. I put two on each side there by the uh, shelves so I can hang little wreaths. And this is how it looks all decorated for my everyday farmhouse decor. I have also showing you some of the seasonal ways that I've also styled it. I also have step-by-step -step instructions on heart uh, blog. <laughs> yeah, blog, that's the word. Um, as I did make this as one of their tool ambassadors. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making these projects. Let me know down in the comments which one you would love to recreate. Until next time, happy crafting!